Welcome to Discover Universe Updates, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Good evening. Tonight we bring you a story that may sound like the plot of a blockbuster disaster film, but make no mistake, this is a real and present danger, lurking just out of sight. Beneath the shimmering lights of Manila, and the calm surface of the South China Sea, a silent threat is building, it's a threat that could change the lives of millions in an instant. Deep below, the Manila Trench stretches for hundreds of kilometers, accumulating immense geological pressure with every passing year. This underwater fault line is one of the most dangerous in the world, and it's primed for a massive release of energy. Scientists and seismologists are sounding the alarm. Their data points to the possibility of a mega-earthquake, one that could strike with little warning and with devastating force. The impact wouldn't stop at the Philippines' borders. In our interconnected world, the shock waves would ripple outward, disrupting global supply chains, financial markets, and the daily lives of people far beyond Southeast Asia. Picture Manila, a city alive with energy, commerce, and culture. In a matter of seconds, that vibrant life could be thrown into chaos as the earth begins to tremble. Skyscrapers sway alarmingly, their steel frames groaning under the strain, foundations crack, and the relentless shaking continues for what feels like an eternity, minutes that can change everything. This would be a mega-thrust earthquake, the same catastrophic type that unleashed the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami and the 2011 disaster in Japan. The devastation from such events is etched into history. The energy released in mere moments would rival the detonation of thousands of atomic bombs, sending shockwaves through the earth and the hearts of those who survive. The initial quake would flatten buildings, tear apart roads, and trigger deadly landslides, especially in densely populated urban areas where escape is difficult. Power grids would fail, plunging entire neighborhoods into darkness. Communication lines would be severed, leaving millions cut off from help as emergency vehicles race through chaotic streets. But for survivors, the nightmare is only beginning. The earthquake is just the first act in a much larger disaster. The real terror comes from the sea. As the sea floor lurches upward, it displaces a massive volume of water, spawning a tsunami of unimaginable size and power. A towering wall of water moving as fast as a jetliner races across the South China Sea, giving coastal communities precious little time to react. The western coast of the Philippines, including the densely populated Manila Bay, would have only minutes to prepare as sirens blare and people scramble to higher ground. Even the most advanced warning systems can only do so much. Against a wave of this magnitude and speed, every second counts, and the margin for error is razor thin. This is the scenario that keeps seismologists and disaster planners awake at night. The clock is ticking, and the question remains, are we truly ready for what lies beneath the waves? To truly grasp the threat that lies beneath, we must look far below the surface of the ocean, into the hidden world where the Earth's most powerful forces are at work. The Earth's surface is not a single solid shell, but a patchwork of massive tectonic plates, constantly shifting and jostling against each other, driven by forces deep within the planet. The Manila Trench is a dramatic example of this process. Here, the immense Eurasian plate is forced to dive beneath the Philippine Sea Plate in a process known as subduction, creating one of the world's deepest oceanic trenches. This collision is anything but gentle. It's a violent, grinding struggle that generates enormous energy as the plates push and scrape against each other. The real danger lies in the friction. Sometimes the plates become locked together, unable to move. Over centuries, pressure builds up, storing unimaginable amounts of energy. Imagine pulling back a giant bowstring or winding a spring tighter and tighter. Eventually the tension becomes too great and something has to give. When that moment comes, the plates suddenly slip, unleashing a mega-thrust earthquake. The seafloor lurches upward in an instant, displacing massive volumes of water and giving birth to a devastating tsunami. The Manila Trench stretches for over 800 miles, running alarmingly close to densely populated coastlines. Its proximity to land means that any major event here could have catastrophic consequences for millions. A rupture along this fault could unleash a magnitude 9.0 earthquake, one of the most powerful and destructive forces known to humanity, capable of reshaping entire regions in moments. What makes the Manila Trench even more dangerous is its silence. Unlike other faults that release energy with frequent small quakes, this trench has been eerily quiet for centuries hiding its true potential. Geologists refer to this as a seismic gap, 
a stretch of fault that hasn't ruptured in a long time, signaling that stress is accumulating with no release in sight. All that stored energy is like a compressed spring, waiting for the slightest trigger to set it off, with the potential to unleash devastation on an unimaginable scale. When the plates finally slip, the release will be sudden and catastrophic, leaving little time for warning or escape. The Manila Trench is, quite literally, a geological time bomb, its countdown hidden beneath the calm surface of the sea. Every day, every minor tremor, every shift in the earth, brings us one step closer to detonation. The tension is always building, never truly at rest. The question is not if this will happen, but when. Time is ticking, and the world waits in suspense. Understanding this fault and preparing for its eventual rupture is crucial for the survival of millions who live in its shadow. The stakes could not be higher. The world is watching, and the next move belongs to the Earth itself. How do we know the Manila Trench is capable of such destruction? The Earth keeps the record. Geologists study coastal rocks and sediment layers for signs of ancient tsunamis. Evidence points to a massive event in the 15th century. Sediment layers from the Philippines to southern China reveal a tsunami of immense size. Historical records, though vague, describe sudden waves and vanished villages. These fragments, combined with geological data, reveal a cycle of destruction. The last major rupture was over 400 years ago, before modern science. We have no living memory of a full-scale Manila Trench event, the uncertainty makes preparation difficult and urgent. The past warns us the threat is real and overdue. Recently the region around the Manila Trench has grown restless. Moderate earthquakes are increasing along secondary faults. The 2021 Batangas quake was a stark reminder, the system is active and powerful. GPS stations show the land is being squeezed and deformed, physical proof of immense strain. In some areas the ground moves centimeters per year. Scientists monitor for slow slip events, subtle shifts that can either relieve or trigger catastrophic ruptures. Each tremor, each shift is a warning. The system is under immense stress and growing more active. The countdown is silent but relentless. The signs are clear, the giant is stirring. What would a magnitude 9.0 Manila trench quake look like? For up to five minutes, Luzon would convulse. Skyscrapers and shanty towns alike devastated. Modern buildings might survive, but many would collapse infrastructure would be crippled. Then comes the tsunami. With only minutes of warning, waves up to 100 feet high would scour the coast. The densely populated Manila Bay would be inundated. The tsunami would race across the South China Sea, striking Vietnam, Brunei, Malaysia and southern China within hours. These regions are unprepared, lacking warning systems and evacuation plans. The aftermath chaos, impassable roads, destroyed ports and millions cut off from aid. Survivors would face days or weeks without water, food, or medical care. The humanitarian crisis would overwhelm any single nation. International response would be essential. This is the reality we must prepare for. The unimaginable is possible. The human toll would be staggering. Hundreds of thousands of casualties, millions homeless. Collapsing buildings and the tsunami create a worst-case scenario for survival. Disease outbreaks would follow, with hospitals overwhelmed or destroyed. The psychological scars would last generations. Economically, Manila's destruction would cripple the Philippines for decades. Damage to infrastructure would cost hundreds of billions. The port of Manila, vital to Southeast Asia, would be obliterated, halting trade. The shock would ripple globally. The South China Sea is a critical shipping lane. Major ports in China, Vietnam and Malaysia would be devastated. Global supply chains would be shattered, triggering economic crisis. This would not be a regional disaster, it would be a global one. What's being done? The Philippines has seismic sensors, tsunami warnings, and public drills. But critical gaps remain. The seismic network needs upgrades, and warning times are dangerously short. Many coastal communities lack accessible evacuation routes. High ground is often too far. Public awareness is inconsistent, especially in remote villages. Poverty and complacency hinder preparedness. The scientific effort needs international support. Studying the trench requires advanced, expensive technology. Collaborative research is essential to map the fault and forecast hazards. We're facing a global threat with mostly regional resources. The world must step up. Preparation is possible, but only if we act together. The time to strengthen our defenses is now. It's a mistake to see this as just the Philippines' problem. The South China Sea is the world's economic superhighway. Ports in China, Vietnam, Taiwan, and the Philippines are vital to global trade. A tsunami here would halt production of everything from electronics to clothing. The disruption would dwarf the COVID-19 supply chain crisis. 
shipping costs would soar, shortages would hit worldwide, and economic instability would follow. Geopolitically, disaster could inflame regional tensions or force unprecedented cooperation. Millions of Filipinos abroad would be affected, as would multinational corporations. The fate of Manila is tied to the fate of global business. This is not someone else's problem. Our interconnected world means we all have a stake in this threat. The Manila Trench is everyone's problem. We stand at a crossroads where the choices we make today will shape the fate of millions tomorrow. The city stirs awake, but beneath the surface, uncertainty rumbles. The science is clear, the threat is real. Decades of research and mounting evidence leave no room for doubt. We cannot stop the earthquake or the tsunami, but we are not helpless. Our actions can save lives, reduce suffering and help communities recover. Urgent, decisive action is needed now. Every moment counts when disaster looms on the horizon. First, empower scientists. Fund international research, deploy advanced sensors and foster collaboration across borders. Map the fault in detail, using the latest technology to understand every risk and vulnerability. Knowledge is our best defense. The more we know, the better we can prepare and protect. Second, turn knowledge into action. Build resilient infrastructure, enforce strict building codes, and retrofit older structures to withstand disaster. Create clear evacuation routes and ensure every citizen knows the safest path to safety. Public education must overcome complacency. Everyone, from children to elders, must know what to do when disaster strikes. Preparedness is a shared responsibility. The international community must provide funding, expertise, and support. No nation can face this alone. Finally, embrace shared responsibility, develop coordinated disaster response plans, pre-position supplies, and conduct joint drills to ensure readiness. The safety of Manila is linked to the security of Hong Kong, the stability of Vietnam, and the resilience of every coastal city in the region. Our economies, our futures, and our lives are intertwined. A disaster in one place can ripple across the globe. We are all connected by the waters of a single ocean, bound together by geography and destiny. The Earth has given its warning. We must listen and act with courage and unity. Our future depends on it. Together, we can face the inevitable and emerge stronger.